What's up guys? Tyler here with Tarver Academy. I'm so excited you're here to learn with us today. And on today's problem of the day, it's a good one. It's a goodie, oldie but a goodie. So let's get started. Give this a shot and try to, um, try to get it right and then we'll work it together. So it says, what is the slope of a line that passes through 1, 3 and 4, negative 3? Ooh, that's a good one. Give it a shot and then we'll work it together. All right. Cool, here we go. So um, I'll read it again. What is the slope of a line that passes through these two coordinates? All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do the slope formula, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna know what the slope formula is. Slope is your M, so if you have a formula sheet and you see M, that's what slope is. M stands for, man, that's the slope. <laughs> that's not what it stands for. Okay, it's Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, okay? And if you're like, uh, Mr. Tarver, my notes say that it's Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. That's fine, it's the same thing, okay? So don't at me, bro, okay? So what I wanna do is I always like to label these in my coordinates so that I don't mess up, okay? So, or I don't get confused, because it's easy to get confused. Remember this, X is first, Y is second. So X, Y, X, Y. Now, you're thinking, well, what do the little ones and little twos mean? That just means that a one is one of your coordinates and the two is the other coordinate. And it doesn't matter which one you make your one and your two, as long as you make them both. So that's gonna be our X1 and our Y1, X2, Y2. After that, I'm really just plugging these numbers into this equation in place of these right here. So, Y2, Y2, negative three. Don't forget your minus sign. Then I'm putting y1, which is three. x2 is four. Don't forget your minus sign. And then x1 is one. Now, I wanna simplify the top and simplify the bottom, okay? So negative three minus three is negative six. Four minus one is three. Then I'm gonna be able to simplify this even further because with slope, you don't wanna give a decimal. You want it to be either a whole number or a fraction, okay? And right here, I can do negative six divided by three, which is negative two, okay? That is our slope. Now, if you see negative two over one, that's okay, that's the same thing. Because remember, anything divided by one is still gonna be itself. So you're probably gonna see negative two, but there's a chance it could be negative two over one. So that's it. That's it, guys. You just learned slope. Hope this helped, and I hope you ace every test you've ever done. If you could subscribe, um, all of your dreams will come true. That's all I got. Thank you, guys. Peace.